My name's James Curry from Nikon's Birding Adventures TV, and I travel all over the world looking for rare birds and wildlife. But when I come home, there's nothing I enjoy more than coming back to my backyard and doing some fun bird watching right here at home. This morning, I'm here to tell you about how to set up an amazing product called the My Spy Birdhouse, which lets you get up close and personal with the birds in your own backyard. The My Spy Birdhouse is really easy and simple to set up, but there are a few considerations that you might want to take into account when setting up this amazing product for the birds in your backyard. And the first is the time of the year. When do you set up your My Spy Birdhouse? And the best time for this is late winter. So as it gets to about February, March, early March, you want to set up your birdhouse so that your birds start taking an interest in nesting. The second most important factor is the location. What window do you set this up on? And if you look at this house over here, there's some very well trafficked areas in the front of the house. You want to avoid those and you rather want to head to an area which is a little less trafficked, like this window over here. Now this is the perfect window to set up your MySpy birdhouse because it's east facing which is always the best direction, it's not essential but it's always the best direction and also it's not going to receive more than about four hours of sun during the day. So it's going to get that nice early morning sun from the east and then as the sun goes over it's going to be shaded. Very very important for those birds. The second consideration is the shrubbery and greenery at this house over here. There's some wonderful shrubs, little small trees and plants that'll make the birds feel really safe and secure. You also don't want to place your birdhouse too low on the window where predators can easily get at the nest. So you want to put it about six to seven feet high, right on the window like that. Suction cups to the window really easily and now those birds are safe and secure from predators. When you get your My Spy birdhouse, be sure to check out your setup guide very carefully because you've got to understand the type of birds in your geographical region. For example, if you're trying to attract western or eastern bluebirds, you want to leave the nesting hole at that size. But if you want to attract smaller birds like chickadees or house wrens, you can actually use the inserts which come in two different sizes to make that hole smaller and make those nesting birds feel more secure. One thing that you can do in late winter or early spring is to leave some nesting material around the nesting box. And that'll include things like freshly cut grass that you can leave around, some string, that birds love to use string as a nesting material, even some feathers of other birds. And you can leave that scattered around the nesting house and hopefully they'll bring that in and use that as nesting material. So those are the considerations for outside. But let's step inside for a bit. There are a couple of considerations that I'd like to tell you about for inside. So once the birds take an interest in your My Spy birdhouse, you'll be able to watch the whole breeding cycle right from your own home. From the mother and the father bird bringing nesting material into the nesting house, then to them laying their clutch of eggs, and two to three weeks later, those eggs hatching, turning into youngsters, then growing up in your own My Spy birdhouse and become fully fledged adult birds. So remember that the birds in your backyard are ultimately wild creatures and it may take a little bit of time for them to get accustomed to the My Spy birdhouse. But with a little bit of persistence and by using the various options that the My Spy birdhouse provides you with, hopefully in time, birds will start to use your My Spy birdhouse and your family will get years and years of joy watching your feathered friends use their My Spy birdhouse and bring up families of their own. I hope you've enjoyed this instructional video on how to use your My Spy birdhouse. Again, I'm James Curry and happy bird watching with your My Spy birdhouse. <laughs>